Good morning my loves, welcome to this week's video. I'm about to do my skincare and I've realised I haven't shown you guys what I've been using in a while so I thought I'd just run you through my morning skin. I always cleanse my skin in the shower in the morning. At the moment I'm using the Skin SkinCeuticals Renewal Gel Cleanser and the only thing with this is I find it does leave my skin quite tight but I feel like it does do quite a good job at almost resurfacing the skin a bit and then in the evening I'll always use my, this is pretty much empty, my LMS Pro Cleanser Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Nothing compares to this. I love it so much. I feel like it gives you a really deep, gentle cleanse and quite the opposite to this. It really leaves your skin almost feeling like you've got a layer of moisturiser on. And then for serums, I have two favourites. I've got the Costa Brazil. This one's quite expensive, so I use this very sparingly, kind of as and when I feel like my skin needs it. And then I also have the Aurelia London CBD, this stuff. I've spoken about this before, but I love this so much. I feel like it almost just like perfects your skin. Um, like if you have any blemishes, they just go so much quicker compared to when I don't use the serum. I had a spot here a few days ago and normally that would linger for like a week, but it's completely, pretty much completely gone. It's just one of those skincare products that you can really see and feel a difference with. And then for moisturiser, I normally do this when I do my makeup, but let me go grab it now. Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base. This is a really, really nice primer. I actually spoke about this in my last video, so, so ooh, sorry if I'm repeating myself. It's just really rich, it's really creamy. And if you've got very dehydrated skin, it's great for keeping that hydration locked in all day long. And if you love a glow as well, this gives you a lot of glow. And then moving on to eye cream. So I have never found an eye cream that actually instantly removes dark circles. So normally I'll use eye cream to hydrate my under eye. Like the ones I've mentioned in the past, I think are LMS, maybe Kiehl's, Murad, and they're all brilliant. But I've recently discovered the Summer Fridays um, eye, vitamin C eye cream, and this is insane. It literally removes your under eye dark circles straight away. And this is the first eye cream that I've found that actually does this. I mean, you can't really see my under eye circles right now because I've got a light shining directly on my face. But on any tired mornings, this is just amazing. And the reason I bought this is because I saw a video of the founder, Mariana Hewitt, I think is how you say her name. And she applied it and you could see straight away how her dark circle just disappeared. So I was sold and I bought it. And um, so yeah, would highly recommend this one. Pop on some Elizabeth Arden as well on my lips. And that is my skincare done. I have got the morning at home this morning, which is lovely. I actually had a bit of a lie-in, which I never do during the week. But last night, I decided to start clearing out my jewellery collection. This is something I haven't done properly since the move. And there was a bundle of necklaces, so, so entangled and knotted up. It took me, I'm not even exaggerating, it took me five hours to detangle them. So I was up until 2.30 in the morning. I'm the kind of person that if I have anything less than seven and a half hours sleep, I will really struggle in the day and I need a nap. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna lie in. So yeah, I got up at 10. I actually had a meeting at 10.30. So I probably looked a little bit bleary eyed for the meeting. But yeah, it's now, um, it's actually now almost the afternoon. It's like 11.45. Um, so it's more of a lunch, but. But yeah, it's a slow morning today, so I'll probably work later on into the afternoon. Here's what I'm wearing today. I've got this really cute set on from Arquette. I'll have it linked down below. Kind of a bit pyjama-y, but I like to have dedicated sets for evening and daytime because I feel like it separates it a bit. It's made out of this lovely like toweling material. And actually, I think this would be really nice to wear on a holiday. You could just chuck it over a bikini or even if you styled up with like a nice bag, some sandals, it would actually make a really cute outfit. Maybe if you like tucked in the shorts a bit for a bit of shape. I'll have this linked in the description box down below. Oh, Opal, are you modeling your little mat? How cute is this mat my boyfriend got me? It says Kate Opal Pippin and B. Do you love it, OPs? Oh, squidgy bum. My little squidgy bum. Oh, is that nice? Nice little massage. Whenever I open the fridge, Opal begs and it's just so cute. This is my point of view every time I open the fridge. Look at him begging. He's so cute. What about some celery? Do you want some celery? Oh, there you go. Is that nice? My favourite, favourite breakfast at the moment 
is avocado on toast. I've been doing it a little bit differently. I showed it on my last vlog, um, but I didn't explain it. So I put cottage cheese instead of butter. Oh, bagel down. I caught it, it's fine. Because this is quite high in protein. Then the avocado, obviously. A squeeze of either lemon or lime. Today it's lemon because we have no lime. Broccolini, which is a new thing for me. We introduced it and these are packed with antioxidants. They're so, so good for you. And to be honest, you can't really taste them. So I just like sprinkle them on top a little bit. And that is my favorite breakfast at the moment. It is so delicious. And I look forward to it every morning. I've just done my makeup and I'm about to head out. Here's a little outfit of the day. This set is this gorgeous plissé set from Mango. I'm really into my sets at the moment. I don't know if I'm just being lazy, but they're so easy to style. Um, I've just tucked on a white blazer. I've got my white Oran sandals on and I'm going to wear it with my Dior bag. I haven't even told you guys where I'm going. I've just hopped in the car. I'm heading to a Space and Kate event with Tory Burch. I don't think it's like a big event. It's just a drop-in kind of thing. Because yeah, Tory, Tory Burch have recently launched some new fragrances. Uh, I'm really confused. What am I doing? Okay, it's fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna go there. And I think they said there was like an astrological dream reader person there. So I'm very intrigued to see what that's all about. Um, but I'll show you guys any clips that I get. Yeah, chat to you guys in a bit. Good afternoon guys. I haven't vlogged at all this morning, but I'm in the car with the lovely Grace. Hey guys. <laughs> We've just been shooting um, this outfit here. It's from New Look. It's a really cute little co-ord. And um, we we got the car, we just parked like on the side of the road and we didn't realize it was a school and we got barricaded into the <laughs> school and we were really scared. We literally they were gonna tell us off. Yeah, there was like people in hivers and we thought they were gonna be like shouting at us, but they yeah. were actually really nice. I think we're really nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah we've just um, shot this one. I'm going to get a quick reel in this one. Then we're going to go on to the next outfit. But um, it's Chelsea and Bloom at the moment, which is really nice. But it means it's so busy. It's a Friday and it's like packed. Mega, mega chocker. Good evening, guys. It is now, I think it's about eight o'clock. And it's a Friday. It's the bank holiday weekend. And as sad as it sounds, I'm so excited to have an evening to myself tonight. I've got a lovely bottle of rosé in the fridge. I've ordered myself my favourite tie. Yeah, I'm just going to sit on the sofa and watch Netflix, do absolutely nothing. And I honestly can't wait. I was supposed to be in Italy this weekend. But I ended up not going because the weather wasn't looking great. And also, I feel like I've done so much to my home. I just want to like be in my home and spend time here yeah just really enjoy it really so i can't wait for a night in i've got my favorite pajamas on from the napco oh god i'm looking so shiny this makeup has been on my face since uh this morning so please do ignore um yeah i'm gonna pour myself a nice glass of rosé now London and it's the bank holiday and I'm with my best friend so it doesn't really get better than this does it? It really does not. Uh, no it does because we're on the way to lunch. Uh, we're going to Rika Moon which is in Notting Hill. Um, oh wait let me turn off some music sorry. And it's a Japanese fusion restaurant it looks really nice got a table outside as well so um, yeah very excited. Currently just looking at holidays we want to go away on like a summery holiday together. This one, it is really near the beach. Though. But whereabouts? This is in Ibiza. But like, zoom me out. South of the island is like the party, like that's where everything is. And then the north is like the hippie chill. But it's not like we're gonna party anyway. No, it just looks really stunning. Is that, it must be near like six senses. But also we could like rent a really cool car. Oh yeah. We could rent like a, um, 
what's it called? Last time I went to Ibiza, I rented a um, like a G wagon with like a you can take off the roof. Oh really? We can literally just do nothing. Like we can just have like a proper holiday. Yeah, it'd be so nice. How long for? Um, like a few days. Like nothing long. Four days. Yeah. Three, four days. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. See. Beautiful London is looking. All the green, yeah. We're about to drive through the Boltons, which is one of the most expensive roads in London. We are driving through right now. Gorgeous. Look at this for B-roll. I once saw Hugh Grant coming out of one of these houses and I had a huge fangirl moment. Yeah, you really did. I've never seen you like that before. <laughs> I've been thinking about, like, obviously I always talk about my grey hairs. Yeah. And when my sister came, she was like, oh my God, you can really see your greys now. Then when I went to Ireland to see my mum, she was like, oh my God, you can really see your greys now. Really? And then at work, they were just like, don't you need to dye your hair now? Am I a bad best friend? Like, I really don't notice your... Okay, they're really apparent, apparently. So, I really don't notice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start some... Really? But, yeah. You're gonna start dyeing your hair? Well, I'm gonna speak to my my hairdresser in Brighton and see what he says. Speaking of hair, yeah, how life changing is um, laser hair removal? It is really life changing. I was thinking, actually, that's so weird that you said that because I was actually thinking about that in the shower this morning. No, really? Yeah, but I don't know. I think I should have got a few more sessions. No, no, you don't need it. You have barely have any now. I remember in the summer it was such a pain. Oh, bless you. Excuse me. Who's kidding me? So I was. Oh, the waffle man. That looks cute. Um, Omar drove me to the station yeah. so with my big case yeah. before I went to Dublin and I did the biggest sneeze ever, yeah. like really out of the blue and it scared him so much he zoomed into a pole and now he's got a dent on his car. No. He literally screamed at me. Oh my god. And then we both looked at each other and burst out laughing because... That's, is it, was he not really angry about his car? No, it's just a little dent. It's not like, it's not huge. Yeah. Um, no, your sneezes don't normally scare me. They're quite gentle. Yeah, normally it is really gentle, but I think I think I have hay fever. Yeah, I really let one out through my nose. <laughs> 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 the other day, like, I remember some used to be such a pain because you'd have ingrown hairs all the time, mm. shaving every other day. Um, yeah, it's so true, actually. And now I don't think about shaving. Like, yeah. maybe I'll shave, like, once a week. Um, oh, I never. I don't shave once a week. Really? I shave probably once a month. Oh, so see, even yeah. Better. No, to be fair, the more, if I do like the at-home one, it does like mean I probably shave once a month. But I just forget. This is it. No, oh, it is life changing. It's life changing. And honestly, if you don't want to do the one in, um, you know, like a laser clinic, I went to therapy and I recommend it. It really works. But I would say the therapists are very hit and miss some of them are amazing really lovely and some of them are just like they rush it they don't do a good job they're not very friendly so like you got to kind of find a good therapist and then ask for her each time mm. but then i stopped and then i started doing the at home laser with i'll link it down below and that was amazing and um now you can just like i just talk up at home like as and when i feel like i need to so yeah that is good that you have it at home actually yeah, I mean, you can borrow it. So the first course is, I think it's a spinach and seaweed or just spinach? You don't have a spinach salad with, with the black tomatoes sauce. I love it. Very nice, thank you. It's now like five o'clock, isn't it? Yeah, it's ten past five. And I think the idea of driving home has it's gone out. It's gone out the window because we've had too much alcohol. So we're gonna have to leave the car in Notting Hill overnight. But um, yeah, we're having a lovely time. It's so sunny and so warm. We've got this lovely view. Down Westbourne Grove. 
she just looks at the camera at the same time. <laughs> lady. So cute. Now home from Rika Moon. How nice was it, Bee? It was stunning. The food was so good. The service was nice. It's just such a nice spot as well. If you sit outside, um, it was just lovely. Such a good people watching spot. Yeah, really nice for like. I mean, I think you could go casual or you could go out. Yeah, you out could there. dress up. You can dress yeah. down. Um, yes, yeah, so I would recommend if you're in London and in the Notting Hill area. Um, anyway, now we're going to make ourselves some tea. Have some chocolate on the sofa, um, even though we have already had dessert, but yeah. Look at that. B and I just watched a film called Old on Netflix. And Wild. It's really crazy, yeah. I thought it was going to be one of those really rubbish, cringe Netflix films, but it was actually, like, I thought it was quite good. I mean, I was at the edge of my seat at the end. Yeah, I don't know how good the acting was, but the story is very interesting. Yeah, I don't know if it was actually that good. No, it was good. I think it was. We were we were gripped. Yeah, and I'm not normally gripped with films. I normally find films quite boring. It says it's like a horror thriller, but I wouldn't say it was a horror or anything. No, not horror because it's quite. Actually, no, that there was one bit that was a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it's not scary. It's just no. a bit like wall. Um, are you going to bed, Bee? No, I'm putting my things away and oh, okay, cozy. Good morning guys and happy Sunday. B and I are just off to go grab some breakfast. This is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this What The Brand co-ord. It's so cute. They have lots of really lovely co-ords. So I'll have this link down below. I paired it with my Lauro Piana shoes. These are the Summer Walks, the most comfortable shoes ever. And some Ashton Miu gold hoops. Is that really yummy, Opal? <laughs> I love his little mouth when he's eating. It's so cute. It'll be good for me when I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my second round of pancakes. Please do on her first. And this is goat, what is it, goat's cheese, spinach. No, but it looks really tasty. Windswept. We are, we're just looking around a furniture store in Kings Road at the moment. I'd love something like this in the hallway. How nice oh would that be? Oh my God, that's stunning. Yeah. So nice. That'd be really nice. Look at this sofa, it looks, looks very comfortable. We have to sit on it. Oh, that's not as comfortable as, as I thought it was. So, B and I are just walking down the King's Road because we need to get Sarah. Moving in gift, she has officially moved into her apartment and you want to get her something nice. Ask me to do B, go to Boots, get some um, toiletries and bits. Um, I need to get some bits for my holiday if I see anything. Me's going to Mexico with her family. Oh, we just got a little lemon juicer. Oh yeah, we got a little lemon juicer from Zara. <laughs> and um, now we're just gonna walk home. Um, oh, I've got a little top from Reformation, I'll show you guys it later. And um, we wanna go home and find somewhere to sit in the sun on the way back, which I think is gonna be hard because it's, it's a very beautiful busy. day in London and it's very busy, but fingers crossed. We're lucky, we are lucky. <laughs> Deeply forgot my sunglasses today. But me and I found a spot in the sun, Bea was right, we are lucky girls. And um, we found the perfect two seats in the sun. We've got some Aperol Spritz. Aperol Spritzes? What's the plural of Aperol Spritz? Aperol Sprites? <laughs> um, but yeah, we are just chilling at the moment and we're going to walk home in a bit. But it's a really lovely vibe at the moment in Chelsea, so. Um, very happy. We've just got home and she emptied her entire litter box on the floor and I know it's you because you're the one who looks innocent but is actually really naughty. So you don't deserve this grape I'm giving you but you're just so cute. I honestly think she looks like something out of a Disney movie. There you go. Little mummy's go aren't you? Yeah, baby girl. By the way guys, this is the top I got earlier from Reformation. It's just very simple but a really lovely good quality staple basic and it fit 
like a dream. And then also got Sarah some bits from Space NK. And then this is the lemon juice that we got from Zara. It's a bit dusty right now. Um, but yes, put it in the dishwasher and it'll be great. By the way, ignore my nails. I'm gonna be doing these myself tonight. They are disgustingly outgrown. Good evening guys, B and I are now home. I started off this video with a morning skin routine, so I thought it would make sense to finish with an evening skin routine. First up, face halo. I say this every time I do a skin routine, but I always think there's no point wasting nice cleanser on taking off your makeup when you can do it for free, well, you have to pay for this initially, but you, you reuse these, I've had these for a few years. Yeah, you can do it for free with a microfiber cloth or a face halo, which is what I'm using right now. These are magic, I love them so much. So I just get off like the bulk of the makeup with my face halo, and then I'll go in with a cleanser and do like a really deep clean, and then I'll use the other side of this to remove it. Anyway, before we wrap up, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the comments on my last video. I asked you guys for a bit of feedback. I kind of said, do you prefer when I upload to a strict schedule, Sundays at six for example, or do you mind if I do ad hoc and a bit more kind of organically? And initially a lot of the comments said, we don't mind when you upload, we're just happy to see when you do. And then there was a couple of comments that said, no, we prefer a schedule because it gives us more of a routine, we know what to expect and we don't miss out on any of your videos. And these comments had the most likes by far. So that kind of gave me an idea of the general consensus. And I think that was kind of like the deciding vote, if that makes sense. And I can't tell you guys how helpful this kind of feedback is. Because, you know, it's not like I have a boss or anyone to tell me when something's good or when something's bad or when something can change. And I obviously make this content for you guys to watch and for you guys to enjoy. So if there's ever anything I can do or improve on, I want to know about it. And I don't want you guys to ever feel like you can't say something because you're worried about offending me. Because honestly, I don't get offended very easily at all. In fact, anything that is constructive... I really take on board and I really like to listen to and hear, especially when it's lots of different people's opinions because then you get a really good idea for what needs to change or what needs to stay the same. So yeah, I really, really appreciate any feedback and I'm really, really grateful for you guys telling me exactly your needs and your wants. I'm just using the Elements Cleansing Balm. I am literally scraping the barrel with this one. I have got another backup one, but I like to get my money's worth. It looks like I've been quite rough with my skin, but I almost like massage my skin a bit for a bit of um, lymphatic drainage. I normally use this under my eyes, it's so nice. And then just wipe off all the excess with the other side of the face halo. Anyway, I thought my schedule could be six o'clock on a Sunday. What do we think about that? Does that work for everyone else's schedule? Obviously, we're all not gonna have the same. I'm just gonna use my CBD serum from Aurelia London. I'm also currently on the lookout for a video editor. I'm chatting to a few different ones at the moment, but I'm just trying to work out who's gonna um, kind of align best with me and my content. Because the YouTube filming is easy, but it's the editing that takes me such a long time. I'm currently looking very ghostly with no makeup on, but I'm gonna finish off with moisturizer. If I'm honest with you guys, there's not a single moisturizer that I'm like, this is my go-to. I have a lot of different ones that I love and they all work well for me. So at the moment I'm using the Aurelia London Cell Revitalize Night Moisturizer. This is a really lovely one. It's very clean and natural and um, yeah, just does everything I want a moisturizer to do. And then before I go to bed, I'll just put Elizabeth Arden on my lips and that is me done. So I'm gonna end this video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know any thoughts in the comments down below. I love you all so, so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.